With a look at what Mother Nature has in store for us, here's Pam Ball. We've got great clouds looming over us today and we've got some rain in store. Let's take a look at how the next few days are shaping up. Today we have a 30% chance of showers and a high of 13. Tonight we'll dip down to 6 degrees. Tomorrow is cloudy with a 30% chance of showers in the morning and into the afternoon. We'll have a high of 9 and a low of 6. Saturday, expect some rain. We have a 60% chance of showers. The high will be 9 degrees and our low will be 5. Sunday is cloudy with a high of 9 and a low of 2. Monday, we'll finally see the sun. We'll have a high of 7 and we'll dip down to 0. Some soggy weather in store, but I like to look at it as a free car wash. Back to you in the studio. And now to news from Canada and around the globe. The death toll has risen to 343 people today as a result of the tsunami that ravaged the southwestern coast of Indonesia on Monday. Officials also say over 300 people are still missing and relief workers are struggling to continue searching for survivors due to the volatile weather. On an island just east of the tsunami disaster, the volcano that killed 33 people earlier this week has erupted again. Officials say no injuries are reported, but the area around Mount Merapi has been evacuated. It is unknown whether this eruption could lead to a larger one. British Columbia taxpayers are receiving a little break. BC Premier Gordon Campbell announced the province's government will lower provincial income tax by 15% on all income up to $72,000 a year. The tax cut is set to take effect on January 1st and will amount to a maximum savings of around $600 in taxes. Campbell says the tax reduction will help 1.9 million British Columbian taxpayers, especially those in middle-income families. Usually, a job description that reads female, 18 to 24, attractive with a good temperament, doesn't refer to a law enforcement officer. But in a city in southwestern China, these requirements are a standard hiring practice. Authorities in Chengdu say good-looking female cops may improve their image, softening their reputation. Critics say this is blatant discrimination, but one lawyer says laws that protect employment inequities are too general to implement. And now for a look at what's making news in the sporting world, here's Tom Parisi. I'm Tom Parisi and here's what's making news in sports. The Humber women's rugby team claimed first place in their division in convincing fashion with a 22-7 victory over the Seneca Sting. Humber was relentless in their attack, putting up a 10-0 lead at half. Led by Tiella Gordon, she converted two tries and was named player of the game. With the win, Humber is the top-seeded team in the playoffs and also receives a first-round bye. The Hawks fell victim to the Seneca Sting last night in women's basketball action, losing 58-51. Seneca capitalized on Humber turnovers and forced the Hawks into early foul trouble. Humber kept it close through the first half but were down 23-17. Sting pulled away in the second half. More turnovers and an overwhelming inside presence by Sting center Tamara Nembard cost the Hawks their second game in a row. The Hawks are now 1-2 in preseason play. Now to the world of pro sports. What was supposed to be a pitching duel for the ages finished with the fourth highest scoring game in World Series history as the Giants beat up on the Rangers 11-7. Cliff Lee looked human last night, only lasting four and two-thirds innings, giving up six runs. Tim Linscombe was no better, going five and two-thirds, giving up four runs before he got the hook. Giants second baseman Freddie Sanchez hit three doubles to open up the floodgates in the fourth, and Juan Uribe had a solo home run to cap the night off. Game two goes tonight. Matt Kane and C.J. Wilson are scheduled to pitch. The Toronto Raptors lost their first game of the season against the New York Knicks. Knicks at the ACC last night. The Boschless Raptors struggled in their first half, down by as many as 16 points, but they made it close in the last minutes of the fourth quarter, but eventually lost 98-93. Andrea Bargnani had 22 points in 35 minutes of play in the loss. The Raptors play their second game of the season Friday against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Toronto Maple Leafs are looking to start a new winning streak when they pay a visit to the Boston Bruins tonight. The Leafs will be without forward Colby Armstrong for four to six weeks. He suffered a finger injury in Tuesday's win over the Panthers. Boston will be without Marco Sturm and Johnny Boychuk, both are out with knee injuries. Leafs sniper Phil Kessel has never scored against his former team. Kessel has goals against every other team in the league but the Bruins. Puck drop is at seven in Boston. That's all for sports. Now back to Romy and Crystal in the studio. Thanks, Tom. After the break, Natalia Buya will have all the latest in entertainment. 
Coming up on entertainment, hot angels invade Toronto. James Cameron announces Avatar sequels and a Star Wars costume goes up for auction. All that and more after the break.